supersonic guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm super duper duper excited to be doing my god sister Cassie's makeup so I am she's we're having like a 40th for my mom and I'm just gonna do a makeup for it so as you can see I'm just getting her to prime her own face for hygienic reasons and then I'm going straight in with my favorite foundation maxi stop it which is the Kat Von D foundation and I'm just spreading that Oh my god, Max! Why do you jump on the laptop in the middle of a tutorial? Why? Can't you see? So basically, I've just taken off any of that excess foundation, as you can see. Max, back and stop. Stop. Stop it. And then I've just concealed with a heavy duty concealer. I'm now going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and um, concealing her under eye area because this is just what really gives dimension in the face and get rid of any of those unwanted colors under the eyes. Sorry about that, Max literally just jumped onto the laptop, like onto the actual laptop. Now, why are you so dumb? So as you can see, I'm just putting that in the various high points of the face and also blending that out before going in with any translucent powder. I'm using the RCMA one. And, oh, you don't freaking, no nipping, no biting, no licking, Max. And yeah, I'm just baking her face with that before going in with a loose powder because I use loose powders for my clients because it's hygienic. You can, you know, disperse the powder into a lid. And I'm just putting that all over her face. I'm just using the Nude by Nature one. And then baking her smile lines as well because she said she gets those through the night. Now I'm going in with my favorite brow product and this is by Summoner. And I'm super excited because she loves dark brows and I'm just like, mm, thank God. I usually ask my clients like on a scale of one to 10 or one to five, how intense do you want your brows or do you have any pictures? And yeah, she just said, oh, I like them fleeky like yours, but just, you know, a bit blended at the inner, in the inner portion. So I'm just using the same concealer on the Tarte to carve out her brows. And I'm also going to drag that down on her lid as well, any excess, because that will help create an even base for eyeshadows. And it will also make the eyeshadow colors stand out more. I'm then setting that with um, whatever's left on my powder brush that I used. And going straight in with the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking this shade right here and running that through her crease. Uh, just lightly, it's like a really nice yellowy, cool tone color. I'm then going in with a bit of burnt orange, which I didn't even show you, and running that through her crease and outer corner before taking Love Letter and running that in her outer corner and through her crease. Crease. Maxi crease. And then I'm taking some of this color right here and putting that just on her outer V. And you know, it doesn't matter what kind of eyeshadows you have, as long as you've got the colors down packed, I think that's what you can do because all the, a lot of eyeshadows can build up you know isn't that right Maxi? build up build up onto my laptop i'm then taking those same shades and running them under the eyes working with the transition colors in bigger areas and making sorry that was such bad wording working more with the transition areas all over the eye under the eye and then taking a little bit of that brown and running that really really close to a waterline as you can see here, I'm just putting in some black water eyeliner because I feel like that just transforms the look you need to have eyeliner no matter what colour. So she likes it. Yes. I'm now going in with the NYX Cosmetic Contour Palette and contouring her face with these two shades here. And it's super exciting because when she tans, she goes the same colour as me. So it's like, I feel like I can do my face on her face, which just... Is really nice and she has my same skin type which is oily combination and that is just, oh, just to die for when a client has your exact same skin and exact same tan shade it's just like everything falls into place you know what I'm saying as you can see I'm also going to do her nose just lightly because she already has a very defined nose you see that Maxi you see what I'm doing there and it was a quick drink break <laughs> I'm then taking this really dark contour shade and lightly, just super duper lightly, touching her face with it, just for a little bit of definition before blending all of that together with my face powder brush. 
I'm then taking her two mascaras for hygienic reasons and putting that all over her eyes in the way that she likes it. So she likes the Essence one and then the Better Than Sex one over the top, which looked gorgeous in my opinion. Are you right? I'm then taking some fake lashes and applying them to her eyes and this was super hard with fake nails, but I got it. And then I told her to pinch the lash line and her actual lashes together and it made it look so much more natural. That's a good trick for anyone out there who's finding that their lashes aren't looking too natural. And then highlighting it with champagne truffle, I think it, I think it, from the chocolate bar palette and applying that other eyelash quickly as well. I really love this to highlight because it gives like a really nice, like one step above subtle highlight. I'm then going in with Unicorn Blood because this is a bogan party so like I don't know how the, per the eyeshadow turned purple but it like it seriously suited her so much and I'm just telling her to whack on some red lippy, some red lippy just to sort of add to that bogan look. Red contradicting purple and that is the finished look. Do you like it Maxie? Thanks for staying to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!